All right, so last time, if you followed the tutorial, what we did was we went over the editor in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And what we, we learned is all the little buttons and how to move around the editor. And before that, we went over some basic coding principles if you're new to coding that would have helped you to understand how things work. So in this one, I wanted to go over how to actually write the code when we get inside of here. So first things first, you need to open and launch your Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Now, if you do this and it freezes on you, then you need to, oh. so if it does that and it freezes on you here, what you need to do is click on your library and then find your actual Fortnite game. Click on the three dots and then click on manage. Now, if you haven't verified your Fortnite, then you're gonna need to do that in order for the engine to run correctly. So since I've done it, mine's running correctly. So I'm gonna close down my uh, launcher here to save some space. Anyways, now we're here and you can just click done and it's gonna bring you up to the project browser screen. And this is where we were yesterday. And if you followed along yesterday, then you created a project already called Myverse Project or whatever you called it. Um, if not, come down here to feature examples and click on Verse Device Starter and let's see if I can move that and basically just create your name of your project and press create but since I've already done that I'm gonna go to my projects here and I'm gonna click on my verse project and I'm just gonna open it and as I wait for it to open we'll see what to do next all right so we'll wait we'll wait all right cool now this is just a blank blank page nothing's here blank project but what we need to do is we need to get ready so we can write some code. So the first thing we're going to do is open up your content browser or your content drawer down here. Now, from this content drawer, we're going to click on this folder that says Creative Devices. And this is the first one that we have right here. It's called Hello World underscore device. So let's take that and let's drag that into our level. All right. Now that you have that into your level, what we're going to do is we're going to, in the toolbar, click on Launch Session. To end the, this is going to allow us to play test this island or this level. So we'll just go ahead and click on Launch Session. And it's going to ask you, do you want to save? And absolutely, you do want to save. So now you're saving, and the session is loading. And you got to wait for a while for it to load, because what's going to happen is it's going to actually launch it in Fortnite so that you can play it. So we'll wait for that to load. It's gonna take a minute. All right, so after waiting for a while, you'll get to this screen. It's gonna ask you if you wanna install the anti-cheat. You'll say yes. And on this screen, it's gonna say, would you like to automatically apply the best settings for your system? And I'm obviously, yeah. And now it could take some time. So we're gonna wait again. But it's cool because uh, there's a couple things I want to let you know. So what I've discovered by doing this is that you really want to have all the processes, like your background processes, any other apps that you may have open, you might want to have them closed. I don't know if it's because of my OBS, but it's kind of going way slow. But we're here, and that is good. Um, once we get into this editor, we're going to see what it can actually do and how to write this code, or how our code can be affected with the editor so again let's just wait for a minute for it to load um, I'll pause it again all right all right so now we're in here and we've got a few things going on so we've got this Fortnite thing going on and you can go here so lots of buttons, but the first thing we need to do since we're in here, you can actually, if you click in here, you can run around and, you know, if you have a controller or whatever. But the cool thing is we need to press tab, right? Let's press tab. So tab, it'll bring up this little menu. And from this creative menu, we can do all kinds of things. But we'll learn those things eventually. First things first, let's go ahead and click on log, right? This log will show us what's up. So we can 
log this would be like our output log basically maybe i did i don't know oh there we go all right cool click on my island and then click on start game all right cool and it's gonna start the game for us and we're falling in Woo! okay once we fall in down here we're gonna press tab and then we're gonna look at this log to see what code is running and it should be the hello world code that's inside of this little device that we dropped into this level let me get on the ground first i just want to you know see how this works cool just like fortnite again press tab press log and now we're going to see our code hello world and then you got the uh, four five five two plus two equals four and that we can check um here so in our visual studio code that is the code that's pulled up so since that's there now we need to We've learned that we can run code from here, which this has this pretty basic code in it. Let me show you. See if we can open it up in Visual Studios. I think it's gonna be way too many programs running for this junk to run smoothly, but oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> here it goes though. Here's the code in Visual Studio. Oh, let's go back to that. There it goes. So it's saying print hello world. Then it's saying print two plus two equals two plus two and then, uh, remember last time we said it's going to evaluate what's in the curly brackets first so if we check back here it did exactly that it printed hello world and then it printed two plus two equals the evaluation of two plus two which is four so that's beautiful we've ran our first piece of code everybody yeah but now we need to know how to manipulate this code right we want to know how to manipulate this code so that it goes into our project here so what we'll do is in our Visual Studios, um, actually, we'll click Verse to see all the Verse pro. So let's go into, we can stop this. So, or rather, rather, rather we'll just click this, Verse, to see all of the Verse files. Um, and then here's all of our Verse files. Cool. And this is the one that we're using, and this is the one that we need to manipulate. So, um, if you don't have Visual Studio Code, obviously it's going to prompt you to download it. Um, any code underneath, look, so inside of here, you see that on begin, this is just like an Unreal Engine when it says on begin play. So, any code written underneath on begin is going to execute. Now, remember that uh, print just means it's going to print to the screen. Now, this little pound sign here, uh, basically the hashtag pound sign, it means that it's a comment. So anything that follows after this on that line is not going to be ran as code. It's just a comment to tell you what's happening in that code. And it's a good practice to put comments in your code so that you know what's going on and, and if you share your code to other people they know what's going on so um let's go ahead and try something here and let's inject some code in here and let's see if we can manipulate it to make it show up in the fortnite editor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to between how about at the end how about at the end of this code press enter right and we're going to write our own code so write print and as you see it comes up perfect but then open parentheses and it gives you the close parentheses but we're going to write qu um, quotation because if you want to print something you have to put it in quotes inside of the parentheses um, let's say uh, this is my first line of verse code and you have to end the quote there and then that should be perfect now uh, in order to make this right we need to save this so we can file save right <laughs> it's just that simple now in order for that change to show up here because it's not showing up here as you see uh let's go ahead and make it show up here so the first thing you need to do is save that visual studio code and in the you we need to press this button here verse
And since that's open there, we've got that. And back in here, oops, back in the editor, it should allow us to push the changes. So let's end the game, but keep the session view open. Okay. <laughs> cool. The game's gonna count down till it ends. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to push these changes. So give me a second here while this game ends and we're gonna push these changes. I don't wanna simply close it. There we go, it's gonna connect back. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now you see that on our editor, this push changes is available. And so what we can do is uh, we can actually just push these changes here. Once you push those changes, all those changes from your Visual Studio code should be updated. And as you see, session is updating, and that's what's happening. Um, let's see what's next. Okay. I'm going to pause it so that it can have some time to work. <laughs> All right, so now that we know that this is a, there's a little green check here, that means it worked. If it did not work, there would have been an X here, okay? Or an X here. So everything is good. It's green, green, we're good to go. Now, what we need to do is talk about the difference between push changes and there's gonna be something called push verse changes. Push changes like we just saw, it takes a long time because it's gonna change everything. If I moved this, like to left or right, it's gonna change that even in my editor. So what I did is I pushed all the changes. So I pushed the changes of location of things along with the changes of the code. Next thing that we need to do is uh, let's open up our Fortnite here and let's actually play the game again. So let's tab. Oh, actually you don't even have to, cool. So we see that in the log right here, it allowed us, it showed us that we're uploading a new version of your project, blah, 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 it's all done. So let's go ahead and play it. So here, my island, a little slow, a little slow. It's okay though. There you go. My island, and we're going to start the game again. So in this time, when we press um, tab in this game, we're going to see the line of code that we wrote in there. So let's press tab. Let's press the log. Look, there is the code that we just wrote. So you have successfully just written your first line of verse code, and you've put it into your Fortnite island game. So this is freaking awesome, guys. If you've gotten up to this point, great because this is a beautiful starting point we know how the engine works we know how to move all the buttons and now we know how to write code so in the next episode we're going to write some more advanced code since we know how to do it we've got visual studio we've got the editor running we've got everything so thanks for joining me this time and i'll holla at y'all next time peace